the game plan is to is to take Mojack off his little thing because he does like a very sniper like ninja thing. So I just want to get him off balance. My relationship with my competitor Dave Levinson is that we used to be lovers in the summer of '72. Don't do the math; it's not going to work out. The difference between myself and Mojack the Hoko, I'm um, very much. I'm not as white as him. I think that my competitor is extremely unpredictable. Dave Levinson's very tricky. One day he'll pick up his child, and one day he won't. Like, I'm lang successful. I'm very, very rich, and I don't actually need to win this. Don't, Dave, don't do that. Don't, don't be weird. All right, let's bring out your roasters for this evening. Two comedians who come together to barely make a career, Mojak Lihuku and Dave Levinson. Let's battle. Right, let's go. Mojak Lehoko. It's a nice sounding name. May I say that? Mojak. Everyone say that. Mojak Lehoko. Sounds French. Hey, it sounds French. It's got a French sounding name. It's really nice. And if you actually hear some of his material, you will get a sense of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Just do the roast, buddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Levinson. Uh, we refer to him as a pioneer in the comedy industry. Some of you may not know this, but Dave doesn't plan any of his comedy sets, which is ironically how he has his children. And, uh... <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying Dave's material is like his sex life, right? Like, uh, you want it to end in five minutes, and at the end, we still have to pay for it. You know what I mean? It's, it's the worst. The absolute worst. I don't know if you've noticed that he did work with the Nike Air Force Ones, and he came up with the wedge to add a little bit extra height there as well. <laughs> That's ironic because Dave is a graphic designer. Um, <laughs> he's not particularly good at it. In fact, he wishes that the software he uses had a feature where he could Photoshop himself into a successful career. <laughs> I'm getting roasted in shorthand. It's fantastic. This is, do, you, do you write your jokes in the, in the little letters because you can't reach the uppercase? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even one of my roasts. I got, I got better. I got better. The, the thing is, with this, his degree was, was, was it's called quantity surveying. That's correct. Yeah. Um, and if you look at him, like he can survey. Give him a run. There's obviously a lot of quantity surveyors <laughs> in the audience tonight. <laughs> Everyone, are you actually getting this? So hang on, sir. Mr. Mojack. Yes. Yes, he speaks so well. Facts. <laughs> no, at you know that 22 people a year are killed by coconuts. <laughs> the thing is, he's so, he sounds so, like, black Twitter have banned him and blocked him because he even tweets with a white accent. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Levinson is proof uh, that not all white people benefited from apartheid. <laughs> or comedy. <laughs> Dave Levinson is having such a rough time that we can't even ask him for the land back. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like nobody wants to move from Kilani to a gazebo in the East Rand. You can keep that shit. We're on our own in this one. Thank you, Dave. Keep your Wendy house. Thank you. So you're basically the craft beer of comedians. <laughs> and no one wants to taste that <laughs> This is coming from a guy who <laughs> makes craft beer. Are you like, just so confused about your career right now? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Dave brews his own beer, which is creatively named Dave Brew, right? If you've had a sip of it or met his ex-wife, you'll realize that he has horrible taste. It's a... There is no such thing as the last joke in Dave Levinson's world. <laughs> and that's why we're all so upset. That's why it's... We want this to end. It's been 20 years of this bull. We've had enough, but carry on. <laughs> 